Beautiful day, eh? I'm a bit tired this morning because I was up all night with a lovely woman. We were on video chat talking about horoscopes, farm animals, personal traumas, and how to brew kombucha. Welcome to lesbian dating. Oh, hi. So I tend to need music in order to like focus on a task and my music preferences fluctuate between smooth jazz, kind of sad acoustic folk, and aggressive house music. What do you want to listen to? Aggressive house music. a a knife well not yet but hopefully it will be i started it a few days ago out of 1080 stock and still have some work to do on it Okie dokie. So besides the questionable aesthetics, this, uh, this knife has, has some flaws. The spine is not actually straight. The handle is, is really the simplest thing I could have done. This, this could look way more pleasing than it actually does. There is a bevel, barely. Some people like to leave this stuff on to make it look hand forged, but it kind of looks unintentional here, but will it chop?
So I'm staying at an Airbnb right now and it is so cold. <laughs> Sometimes desperate times call for desperate measures, such as microwaving your socks. Right now in this region, we're experiencing Arctic outflow. So it's just kind of chronically cold. Everything is fine. It's also like 4 a.m. in the morning, so that's not really the warmest time of day, regardless. Okie dokie. Jeez, I am a mess. And we're back on the island. Usually whenever I leave the island, I stock up on supplies. So that's, that's kind of what happened here. <laughs> oh yeah, I need to fix that. Again. Well, this froze. <laughs> So I tried to make pine sparkling water. You basically just add pine needles and honey to a glass jar and then let it sit for a couple days. But I let it sit outside while I was away and um, well, now it's a pinesicle. Oh my goodness, I know I missed you. I know I missed you, I was gone. Oh, I got treats for you too. Yeah. Oh, is that gonna be better? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Here. It's interesting. British Columbia has a lot of microclimates due to the topography of the, the mountains, the valleys, and of course the ocean. So on the island here, we're kind of around negative one degree Celsius, but just a couple hours away from here, there are towns with a lot of snow and they're pretty low into the negative temperatures. You know, this is important information because you might be thinking about doing a road trip across British Columbia in the winter. So just wear lots of layers. Well, I spoke too soon about the island not having snow, because last night we got dumped on. All this happened in less than 12 hours. We also ended up losing power last night, so got the wood stove going. You know, gotta love winter for keeping you on your toes.
So one of the most common questions that I get is how many axes do you have? And right now I have around 15 axes, but 20 tools for wood chopping. So that includes the swords and the wood splitting wedges. I started axe renovation as just kind of a hobby because I do a lot of wood splitting and I've given away a lot of those projects, but then I also tend to receive a lot of broken axes and old axe heads. So the collection is always changing. And here lie the remains of some of the axes that have fallen, but perhaps they will rise again.